Hello everyone, it's me, Blue, Sam, the Blue Tech Guy, once again with another video. Two videos in one day. I am on a roll, guys. Yes, I am. I just finished up a video uh, explaining a little bit more about my visual impairment, uh, my nystagmus, and showing you guys how it really has a tendency to act up when uh, I'm focusing on something. When I'm trying to look at something, you know, so I was demonstrating that. Well, we're doing another video today, but this time we're doing a video, a product review. Previously, I unboxed the Onyx Studio 3 Harman Kardon speaker from uh, from Sprint. Uh, so if you want to see that video, you can go back and take a look at it. Today, in this video, we are going to listen to it. And I want you guys to hear how it sounds because it sounds really phenomenal. It's got good bass, good sound. Now, one thing I want to say is that this speaker is not necessarily waterproof, so I don't recommend using it near moisture. Probably not good for the beach, but you can try. But it's perfect for backyard barbecues, listening out on the porch, uh, birthday parties. It's not going to make your house sound like a concert hall, but it is loud enough to be enjoyed. So without further ado, we're going to listen to it and... Probably made me talk about it a little bit. Um, we're going to start off with some nice, soft, slow music. I've got some non-copyrighted music queued up, so hopefully we can get that going. And um, then we're going to progress into something with more bass. I'm going to also show you how it sounds from across the room. We're here in my kitchen table, and we're going to go up to my living room and down to my back hallway. So there's going to be a little moving around with the camera. So uh, I'm going to try to keep that movement as minimal as I can. So without further ado, let's get started and let's do it. I got some music queued up right here, so we're going to get it queued up. It's, first, we're going to start off with something nice, moderate, and soft. So let's see if we can do that. Here we go. I'm gonna let's all listen to the speaker. I'm gonna turn the camera and let y'all look at it. So this is the Harman Kardon Studio 3. Well Onyx Studio 3. Now that's a fairly good low decent volume I can't crank it up too high right here because the, the microphones on my phone don't respond too well it'll sound very distorted I've already done I've already made this video once and I had to redo it because the sound quality was just really bad but I hope you guys can really get a good perspective of how good it sounds listen to those highs at, again, at low volume I hope you guys can really notice that bass Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go into something a little more. Okay, we're going to turn that off. Let's go into something a little bit with some rich bass. Because in this one, I want to crank it up and I want to show you how it sounds from across the room. Or better yet, from across the house. Um, my house isn't very big, but it, I mean, it's there's plenty of room. So, I am going to go over there. That's the very front of my living room. And then... We're going to go back there. That's my hallway going out towards my back door. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cue up some music, and now we're going to listen to it at higher volumes. Get something a little more funky going here. So let's, let me just do that real quick. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Smooth that, move it up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now, you got a low volume, guys. Can you, can you guys hear that bass? Alright, let's 
just crank it up now and let's listen to it. I'm gonna crank it up right here, but it's gonna sound distorted, but it's not the speaker, it's the microphones on my phone. And my head is cut off. Sorry about that because I'm holding the, the phone very close. Because if I get too far back, you guys won't be able to hear me. So I'm way back here now. I hope you guys can still hear me. So let's crank it up now. Remember, it's gonna get distorted, but it's not the speaker. So here we go. Okay, as I get farther away, it doesn't sound distorted anymore. So here we are, in front of my living room, just like I said. Oh guys, I hope I'm not making you guys sick, really. I'm turning a little too much there. So, I hope you guys can really still hear that bass. I mean, it sounds good. And like I say, it's not extremely loud, it doesn't sound like a concert hall or anything, but it's good, decent sound. I mean, if there's a small group of people and you're having a small party, it's perfect. It's really good. So now let's walk over to, uh, over there, my back door, and let's listen to it from back there. Here we go. We're back in my kitchen. Okay, so now we're here. Here's my back door. And, yeah, I hope you guys can really still hear that bass. Can, can you all guys still hear that bass? Man, that sounds phenomenal. A very good sound, good clarity, true separation in a small package. It's not too big, very lightweight, easy to carry. So you're getting big sound from something so small without having to carry something so big and clunky. You know? So yeah, that's you just heard a quick demonstration on the Onyx Studio 3 uh, Bluetooth speaker by Harman Kardon. Available at Sprint stores. And now I think it's available at Walmart.com. So you can get it there. Um, I don't know if any other places would have it. But those are the two places that I know of where you can buy it. If there are any other online websites where that you know of out there that where you, people can buy this, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, your comments are welcome. And uh, if you guys like this video... I invite you to, if you like, if you guys like to watch me, Sam the Blue Tech Guy, this legally blind guy who just loves tech and just loves to make these videos for y'all, I want to invite y'all to click that like button, click that thumbs up, give it to me, smack it, because it helps me out. I want the channel to grow. Now, without you guys, it's not going to grow. If you don't like my video, uh, or if you think, wow, this guy sucks, it's I don't like this guy. He's so boring. He's so annoying. He's so fat. Well, that's my haters anyway that call me that. <laughs> but if you don't like the videos, first of all, guys, there's a lot of other stuff you want. You can watch. I'm sure there are much better reviews than mine. So, yeah, that's your opinion. Uh, you just don't have to watch. Or you can click that thumbs down button if you like. It's your opinion. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so we're going to take one last look at it, and that will be the end of the video. So let's cue up some music, and let's turn it down a little bit. Right. Okay, so right here real quick. Uh, one of the caveats that I want to tell you guys about the speaker, and it's not a deal breaker, but um, when you're listening to the speaker on battery power, the volume level might drop by just a few decibels. When it's plugged in, it's actually louder. So if you want to get the full loudness of the speaker, I recommend that you just run it plugged in. However, it's not a deal breaker. It still sounds good on battery power, just that the decibel level tends to drop a little bit. But the sound clarity is still good. So one last look at it before I sign out and take off. So, yeah.
So right here, you have your uh, Bluetooth connection button. And right here, they have added the phone button so you can actually answer uh, calls with this speaker. So that's one thing you couldn't do with the previous generations. Of course, your volume buttons are right here. I hope I'm really catching this on, on the video. And then back back over here. Let's see if I can move this camera. Right back here is your subwoofer, your diaphragm right there. Underneath are your connections. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's a, there's an auxiliary plug for your older devices. Uh, the power cord for the charging. And uh, there's a USB port back there. For... Uh, that's a service port that is not a charging port that is basically just for you to update your firmware on the speaker which you can do by going to the Harman Kardon website so in the box you get the charger and it's a simple little power brick just like this almost like a laptop and uh, of course that plugs in over here when the speaker is charging you get a blinking indicator and also, when the battery is getting low, uh, this will begin to flash red. Even when it's flashing red, it gives you a good, I want to say about another 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the volume level that you're playing it at. So, yes, guys, once again, in closing, I want to say it's a very good speaker. If you're thinking about getting one, or if you had, you know, thought about like, oh, it's not for me, I don't want it. Just, how does it sound? No, it sounds really good. I highly recommend it. If you want good sound clarity from from a nice ultra lightweight portable device, this is it. Good sound, really good sound. Now, if you're looking for something really big and you want to blow the roof off your house, this speaker's not going to do it for you. Then you're going to need to get something bigger. But for good casual listening, I highly recommend it. So go pick yours up today, guys, and enjoy it. So this is me, Sam, the Blue Tech Guy, right here. The Blue Tech Guy, with one eye. Yeah! <laughs> Enjoy it, guys, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Adios, Salabadurchi. Keep jamming, guys. Keep the bass going. All right. Y'all take care.